A Prime Minister with no democratic endorsement whatsoever from Scotland will be replaced by another Prime Minister that Scotland hasn't voted for, indeed wouldn't vote for, even if we were given the opportunity. And the change of Tory leader seems virtually certain to be accompanied by a shift even further to the right. And that means, of course, a shift even further away from the mainstream of Scottish opinion and values. A race to the bottom on tax, cuts to public services and support for families, more posturing over Brexit, hurting businesses and trade, abandonment of the fight against climate change and a toxic, indeed wholly manufactured, culture war putting equalities and human rights protections at risk. We may be just a few days into this Tory leadership contest, but it is already crystal clear that the issues Scotland is focused on, tackling child poverty, supporting NHS recovery, building a fairer economy and making a just transition to net zero will be hindered, not helped by whoever becomes Prime Minister in the weeks ahead. So when you have Labour saying that they will never work with the SNP or you know the SNP is somehow beyond the pale, whether or not they want to acknowledge that, what they are doing is just disrespecting Scotland's democratic choices. They're effectively in the pursuit of votes from the Tories in England, they're effectively given the proverbial, you know, two fingers to Scotland. Well, you know, that's Labour's choice, but they should not be surprised if the people of Scotland continue to take a really...